right place. He may have gotten off the wrong floor. Doesn't matter, happy. What did you think it was? Did you think it was Bruce? No, Bruce was the first. Oh, 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 Bring her back in here. She's gonna fall off the deck. <laughs> Bring her back in here. She's gonna jump off the porch. We'll bring a drink. Bring the drink. All right. Marlon's three. Bring out the, what's the champagne? What's the champagne? Bring the champagne. Bring some champagne. What's the champagne? Champagne is coming. <laughs> Thank you. 
Back away from the light a little. That's a good picture. You can see it in the mirror. There's too much light on this. It's all right. Tip the light. Have another drink. Are you high? Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait.
how far can, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> uh, I wanted to see how far I could go uh, without tipping her off that we were going to have a party for her. So, uh, you know, on the phone, when I called her up to invite her over, I said, uh, well, Marla, what are you doing for your birthday? And she said, well, not really very much. I have a quiet birthday with my folks. And I said, well, look, I'm going to call up all your friends, and we'll have a surprise party for you. As <laughs> 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 we came over here today, I said, well, Marla, what did you do for your birthday? And she said, well, you know, pretty much like I told you, I uh, had a quiet birthday, and it was Passover, so we couldn't really do very much. Uh, and I said, well, uh, I'll tell you what. When you get upstairs to the party, I will have all the lawyers join together and sing a chorus of happy birthday for you. And he said, oh, no, I'm really getting embarrassed by that kind of thing. <laughs> so how many lawyers do we have here? So Leanne and I are now the only lawyers here. Tell us how much you can add up. That's it. That's all the uh, story there is. Okay, okay. Okay. Go ahead, sing. <laughs> are we going to sing happy birthday to her Yes. Happy birthday to you. She is quite upbeat, really, kind of a hip, kind of an out, kind of a Charlie, kind of a gal. But today, <laughs> today she seemed a little down. I asked her what was the matter, and she said she was thinking of getting a divorce. <laughs> I said, Clara, sweetheart, you're 95 years old. You've been married for 75 years. Why now? And she said we wanted to wait until the children were dead. <laughs> I don't know about you, Marley, it just kind of brought me down. But, uh, I am kind of a manic depressive, but any other manic depressive? <laughs> <laughs> Usually we don't get out much, this is nice. Uh, I don't know about you, I, sometimes I get so depressed I question whether I am worth L'Oreal. <laughs> So I, I, things seem to upset me that don't bother other people, and uh, I found out recently that the Otis Elevator Company in Minneapolis has only one floor. <laughs> <laughs> Quite upset, and uh, I just kind of adjusted to that, and I was driving over here tonight uh, from the Radisson South, where I just was, 
And I heard this ad on the radio for Percet's tampons, <laughs> at the end of which this grave and somber voice comes on and says, use only as directed. Now, <laughs> <laughs> uh, clue me in here. Uh, what else can you do with these babies? <laughs> You will have to forgive me. I hope that I can work without a microphone because uh, I do have a cold tonight. And uh, the worst part for me when I have a cold is I, I never know whether it's feed a cold, starve a fever, or the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> I just feed them both, actually. <laughs>
<laughs> Although, I have on occasion forgotten that I've already eaten. <laughs> That's why I never really learned to swim. <laughs> My mother always made me wait an hour after eating. <laughs> about this calcium deficiency thing, osteoporosis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to eat about a gallon and a half of hagen <laughs> <laughs> You get your rum raisin, you get your iron there, too. <laughs> watch people get bigger. <laughs> so the 12 of us ate half of this chocolate cheese. Okay, now, next day, my husband went to work, and uh, I was alone with the cheesecake. So <clears throat> had a little piece for breakfast. You know, who wouldn't, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> what a ladies, come on. And, uh, then I had a little mid-morning snack, you know, about, about 7.30. And <laughs> Charles Ingalls would take down his fiddle to play for the family. <laughs> yeah, this would light up my son's eyes. <laughs> I can hear his little squeals of delight now. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. <laughs> totally awesome fiddle again. <laughs> Got kids like that. Those were great kids, except for Nellie and Willie Olson. Remember them? Uh, perfect examples of why some animals eat their young. <laughs> <laughs> My son is a lot of fun. He, uh, he just finished up his seventh grade basketball season, and uh, 
I found out there's some kind of unwritten rules for mothers attending these things. Uh, you may sit quietly along the sidelines, but you may give no indication whatsoever that you've ever seen him before. You know? <laughs> God forbid you say his name. And, uh, also, never, ever, ever again shoot baskets at halftime. Okay. He's a good student. Um, <laughs> He's not good in art. Art is his worst subject. And uh, he came home the other day with a green and purple basket. And he had a C plus on it. And frankly, I was a little pissed. Because uh, I had done well over half of that thing. <laughs> I thought it was a damn fine basket. You know? I would like to see the other mother's baskets, frankly. Uh, well, Marla, what can I say after all these years of knowing you? Um, <laughs> I have been told that, that you were a student at uh, what, Madison. Madison, Madtown, love that place, and BU. I, I, I personally, uh, I'm kind of envious. I only got to go to college for three terms myself. Uh, Johnson's, Nixon's, and Carter's, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the good old days. You could go 20, 30 years, nobody cared. <laughs> you didn't have to worry about employment, and you can see, obviously. <laughs> Here I am in a party room doing jokes for some Me. <laughs> I went to the University of Minnesota. Um, I was there from 69 to 71. I was a junior there. <laughs> <laughs> I majored in incomplete. It was uh, kind of a double major with withdrawal, if you ever had one. Uh, what was your major? Which time? <laughs> <laughs> Which term? Kind of like that, then. Yeah. So now you're a financial planner. I need that. God knows. I hope, I'm kind of hard. hoping to get that after this because it's part of my perks. Because uh, I'm not good with money. I, when I'm depressed, I, I practice what I call purchase therapy. Um, <laughs> anybody else do that? <laughs> oh, points, sure. 